Hello again. I'm focused. This is one of my uh, exp abstract expressionist pieces of artwork from before I started to learn how to um, pour acrylics a year or more ago. This is, wait, this is what I'm going to use today, dustpan. This is what I usually put in it, blaster silicone, a spritz, just one, somewhere in the mix of colors. And it occurs to me that I haven't done anything with treadmill silicone for so long that it behooves me to try it again. So that's what I'm going to do. I am going to put a couple drops of that somewhere in the middle of that mix of colors. This is what's next. I will be using that because I said I needed a bigger reservoir with an edge. I think that's going to be perfect and I can't wait to use that. Maybe next video. Probably not this one. So what I have under here, under this particular... Oh, and my black is almost gone. Hmm. I don't really want to show this to you, so I'm going to, um, I'm going to, go ahead, okay. This is, in my opinion, pretty horrible, so I'm going to take my best <laughs> opportunity to change that with a spatula. by adding some colors and camouflaging the mess. <laughs> and I don't know who's going to disagree with me, but it doesn't really matter at this point because it's not something I can live with. My edges are um, going to have to be done later, I'm guessing. And I kind of, I've seen a lot of paintings recently from somebody who's very talented, whose name I should know, and I'm sorry. Uh, on my Instagram feed and he does some great he obviously makes an entire painting and then just covers over what he doesn't like and that's cool and I am very close to being out of black today I'm gonna have to mix some more soon Oop. I don't know about that well that's the cool thing is we can do all kinds of stuff that did not want to be uncovered I do actually have a wet rag always a good thing to have a wet rag when you have a spatula or even just because of your hands but that spatula is going right in the bucket. And I'm going to take this away for a minute. And I'm going to do what I said I was going to do. I'm going to take my dustpan and I'm going to start with my favorite color. Give it a little shake because they are pre-mixed. I'm going to put all of that in the bottom. I'm probably going to put some more of that in the bottom too. But I am going to do dot one. Oops, that was two, three, four. That was a lot more than I expected or intended, but it's hot out here and things get warm pretty quick. I am going to have myself a pretty good time, I think, just adding whatever I want. And for me, the, wow, that was blindingly bright. I was going to say the brighter the better, but I might have just changed my mind. I don't know why I keep putting the tops back on. Oh, that's great. I was I always wonder where that color is. I'm going to leave that out. And I've got some funky pink, which is actually better than it used to be. And it separates, but you know what? Floetrol is in all this stuff, so it's not the end of the world. If you have a little Floetrol, because it will blend in. It's clear. It dries clear, so you'll never see it. Not to worry, not to worry. What else? Nothing else I can see. I often miss the red. Let's just give that a bit of a shake and peel the top out, which is the way those golden bottles work. That's cool. And I have some lovely turquoisey blue, a Caribbean blue. And I think the only thing that I'm missing right now that I'd like to have are some green and some gold. And I'm not sure how this is gonna work. I'm almost out of gold too. I've got a color run. I really like that dark purple I see there, so I'm going to go back and add some more of that for contrast. I never ever seem to put enough white in things, so I'm going to do that too. And right down into where that silicone went, and hopefully that will be useful. And now that I've seen the white, I'm either going to go back with the blue. Yes, see, we got cells already. I'm going to very judiciously dole out what's left of my black. I never found that red. Okay, there it is. It wasn't far. 
I'm going to shake everything today because <laughs> it looks like a few things decided to... Yeah, see, the problem with some things is they just want me, make me want other things. And that's one of them. So now I've got a dustpan of colors. I'm not sure how this is going to work. It may not work at all. I would actually kind of like, let's move that out of there, right out of there. I would like to be able to use it in multiple places. And Floetrol will make cells, so if we move things, we might get them. So I guess if I want to, I can do, let's spin this thing. Let's spin it and keep spinning it. Yes, I'm liking the effect that's making for me. It's working for me. Okay, you probably can't see all of that right now. Somebody told me I had to sand my canvas. Do you have any idea how lazy, lazy I am? Well, maybe you do because you know I make 20 minute videos. Which reminds me, anybody who thinks that my actual art that's in my gallery all took 20 minutes is sadly mistaken because that is just not the case. But. I have been doing what I'm doing long enough to have a certain amount of ability to produce something in 20 minutes, which is what my plan is. And so far, that's working okay. I'm going to look at this for a second, see what I need in there. That's a lot of pink. I like that red. I'm going to jag it up that edge a little bit, throw a little bit more red in there. Look at what we have left decide if it's um, a viable fix it. You know, what I really like over there is that green and I have some handy and I'm going to put it in too. Red and green. Who, who ever thought for a million in a million years that I would be painting with red and green? Not me, I got to tell you. And we're running everywhere, so let's tip that a different way. A completely different way. I'm out of your view, I'm so sorry. But at least my head's not in the way, right? dustpan up on the side. I want to take a torch to that and I also want to put, I want to lead some of that around and I don't know if I can or not but I'm going to give it a shot. And maybe some over here too. And again, I'm dipping right out the side and that's okay. I just, I like making marks, and I like new things that make marks. I'm just basically a tool junkie. I like tools, what can I say? And I think if I go back in here, this is just not like anything and not meant to be like anything else. Yes, we can dribble. Let's dribble. Let's call it abstract expressionism, fluid dribble art. It's a because we can moment, again. Yes, I'm being quiet because I have no idea what I'm doing. But I'm not hating it either. I have a spatula, or I had a spatula. I wonder what I did with my little spatula. Well, I have a spatula, and I can take some of that color, and I can put it wherever I want. I have done, and I will do, and this is just fun. I am having a good time. You can't probably see all of that again. I don't know why I keep putting it out of your view. But those are fun shapes, and I'm thinking that they're fun colors. And if I didn't think so, I would take my squeeze bottles, which are just out of the view of the camera, and I would do something with them as well. But in the meantime, I'm just going to keep taking and removing whatever paint with the spatula is still left in my... Uh, dustpan from the dollar store. And then, I think I'm going to drop some paint in there, because I'm a fan of drops and dots, and now I have more than I expected, so I might as well continue on and create an uneven number. 
Yeah, I think I need another one. Maybe more. Just create some odd shapes that are, I'm inspired to make at uh, any point in time. And I like, what do I like? I like this over here. I pretty much always like orange, even though I don't think so until I put it down. And then I totally love it. <laughs> Makes no sense. It's some it's inherited from my mother who had an orange couch in our living room. <laughs> orange velour. Those were the days. All right, well, I know it's not complicated. I know it didn't take a long time. It looks pretty psychedelic. That's kind of what I figured might happen. I think there's always room for a little bit of improvement if I so desire. The, some, some silicone did go in there. I think we will take advantage of the fact that I can do whatever I want. Hopefully my head's not right under that camera again. Yep. Yep, I'm not unhappy with that either. Just going to keep following along, inspired by whatever I feel like it. That's okay. I'm not unhappy with that. You can see this, some silicone is having some effect in places. I'm thinking, what am I thinking? I'm thinking if I can make a thin enough line, I'll be happier with that down there. I like purple and orange together. I think they're opposites, but I like them. They make everything juicy and poppy. Juicy. Yeah, I don't know how long we have, but I'm kind of inclined to just use the time I have to play, because that seems like it was my original intention anyway. And I haven't used anything but my spatula yet. Have I? Spatula and a dustpan. Ha <laughs> ha! Sounds like a funny way to make a painting, doesn't it? What else can I get out of here? What else do I need out of there? I don't know if I need anything else out of there. It's not making brown, surprisingly enough. I'm happy about that. I think I was talking about using a skewer to just bring, what's one of my paintings without a spiral on? I think maybe, I don't like that little scratchy bit in there. Since I have discussed and been happy to enjoy some dots. I think we're just going to keep, oh this has got a really big tip on it. I better be careful of that. I'm going to do that somewhere else. Yep, not, not hurting my feelings and I'm going to do it again. Where I'm going to do it again, I'm not sure yet. I think right down here Yes. Oh, that's cool. I actually am beginning to like it when the paint doesn't come out because that gives me an opportunity to have a thinner stream. I'm going to remember to clear that tip. I think just a couple more over here. Well, those are not dots. <laughs> Go figure. Oh, well, never mind. So, I don't know what I'm doing anymore, but I'm still having fun playing. And I like the painting 100% better than I liked it before. So, I have my, uh, my answer there. I wonder how that yellow would come out if I put it right in there. Can I? Carefully. I have a few more than I wanted. All right.
Cool. It is what it is, and it's fun for me. I'm going to take another one because that... Is, what is that? Whatever you are, go away. Yeah, this is sort of the same theory of that... Uh, coloring with crayons and then scratching through to reveal the colors because if I wanted to, I know from past experience, I could actually do that now. Sorry, I hate it when I'm quiet. Come on out. I'm gaining some kind of balance that I like. I'm not thinking about it an awful lot. Maybe I should be. Those were much larger dots than I anticipated, but that might leave me another opportunity for altering my composition just a tad. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens if I'm smart and I wipe off my Wipe off my skewer and then put a little paint into the bottom of my dish. Try and drop it on without touching it. I don't know what will happen because I think the black is inclined to sink. But I would love to see it not sink. I think that would be awesome if it would stay part of the pattern. No guarantees. But now that we have that, it just makes me want to do other stuff. I needed to play today. I sat in front of my computer so long my nether regions got numb. Huh. Yeah. Not really minding that. I don't know how it works in yellow, but I'm going to find out. So are you. And I don't mind any of the stuff showing through. It was always my intention to have some stuff show through. So that's working also. I think. I don't want to break up that line though. I don't want a hard line there. I'll just pretend that's a little spiral. I have kind of muck on here now, but I like the black dot effect. And I think I'm going to do it a little bit more, although I want white now. <laughs> See how I am? I am going to take the white I have and see if I can do the same thing over here. Which may or may not work, you know. Because you don't know. Not until you try it. And I like trying new things. You know that about me. That is a weird mark there. But I think, since we've already started this interesting and anomalous activity, that we might as well just continue to play. Play, the word of the day. makes me want more. I think we're done. Well, I don't know if you're still here or not, but evidently today you got great timing. And I'm going to call that good. Hopefully. You're still here. That's awesome. Let me pull back a little bit so you can see all of that. What fun that was. I recommend that. Um, if I change anything, it's going to be that orange spot right there. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going to turn the timer off and say, see you in the next video. I have a Patreon donation button on my YouTube header along with a PayPal donation button. If you'd like to contribute, please feel free. It's always appreciated no matter what it is. Um, I have no income, so thank you very much. And thank you to everybody who's done so so far. I really, really appreciate it. Have a wonderful day. And uh, like I said, see you in the next video. Priscilla out. Bye for now.